Cause she's got an FGB family Never run team, gotta be PG Well, mostly Work so hard, and all the while She's got a chick in her step And she's got a twinkle in her smile Looks all right I believe I'm all packed, and I know I'm only technically going for a night, but I did make sure that I had everything, because I don't know, maybe I'll be done early and I'll just be able to go explore a little bit, and maybe I want to look nice. So I have to have at least like two pairs of clothing that I get to pick from, and then I need my makeup, and then I need my DS and my laptop. And <laughs> but I made sure that it all fit in here. And then um, Trevor and I bought, well actually Trevor bought this. I don't know why, I always claim things as my own, but it's not. Um, Trevor bought this and it's like, a, a, it weighs your bags. And it's really smart because a lot of the time you're worried if your bags are gonna be over and this might be like $15 when it ends up costing you $25 to put it underneath the thing. Great investment. And it just gives you the peace of mind. So if you guys, if th this is my one travel tip because I've been traveling a lot lately. Get this, it is a lifesaver. So I have to test my bag and see if it actually is okay right now. They even weigh the carry-ons now. Man. I know, it's so annoying. And the fact that you can only take as much, you should be able to take like way more weight than me because I mean, I take more weight into the, the cabin just because I'm a dude. Oh. Girls weigh less and need more, so they should get a bigger allowance. I agree. Okay, let's see how much this bad boy weighs. I believe 22 pounds is how much you're allowed on the, as a carry-on. Where are we at? We might have gone over a pound. By a pound, what can you take out a pound worth? Hmm. You're going for a day. <laughs> well, I just have everything in here. I can put stuff in that bag. I just don't want to put anything in it. So I put everything in here. 18, 18 pounds. My computer's like five pounds. Ridiculous. Really? So we're putting the laptop in the little bag. Here we go. 4.2 pounds. Your laptop 4. needs to 2. lose some weight. Yeah, it it's does. fat. This is a commercial for MacBook Air. <laughs> Only two pounds and you can get on your plane without having to worry. I don't even know what Hafting I'm saying Having to worry. Hafting to worry. English. With a half an hour to being picked up, we had to make sure our priorities were in order. Mm-hmm. Right? Walmart. 3DS games. For the plane ride. <laughs> That's my priority right now, okay? Let's, oh, I kind of want to get Zelda because I've never really played Zelda before. Oh, no, the internet just had an uproar. So, yeah, I've kind of been looking at getting one of these ones. We'll see. I've never had people pick me up from airports or drop me off at airports and it's the weirdest thing. But any guesses where I am? The steering wheel's on the wrong side. Almost there. If you guys haven't already guessed, I am in London, which you can't see from that window, but I'm in my hotel room and it's pretty cool. I just went for a fitting, um, that's the whole reason I'm here. Um, can't really tell you much more than that, but I go home tomorrow. So I want to make as much uh, of this trip as I can, so as much as I want to go to sleep right now, there's no way that's happening. Let's go have an adventure, but not looking like this. I can't remember if I gave you a tour in the last little vlog that I did, but I'll give you a quick tour. It's not very big, but it's pretty nice. Um, we've got our bed here. This is where I make the sleeps. This is where I look at uh, the outside if I need to. There's a mirror. Just making sure I look good. <laughs> and um, there's a mess because I had a mini freak out because I'm trying to leave. 
so I can go experience London. See, I just made a mess. I just raided this place. I have about, I think, I have to meet Judy May at 8 p.m. That's my friend slash life coach. We're gonna hang out for the rest of the night, which is really cool to think that I have friends in a place that's just foreign to me. I've been here three times now, but still, it's foreign. So I'm gonna meet her, but I have two goals right now, and that's to go to super dry and probably leave. I don't, I guess that's the second goal. I'm <laughs> totally doing all right right now. I don't know, did I show you guys this? I've already made a mess of it because my makeup's everywhere, but it's so pretty. The part that made me go, oh my gosh, this is a nice place though. <laughs> Nothing else, but the jewels on the doorknob. That was enough adventure for me. There's not very many floors, but I wanted to show you guys the elevator. Ooh. Ground. Close. So old fashioned. I feel so big and strong in here. I could take out this whole area. Good thing I didn't bring a big bag. I wouldn't have been able to fit in here. London buses. Oh, I almost hit somebody. It's so busy here all the time. I'm pretty sure the reason they booked my hotel there is because it's about a minute walk to super dry they knew river i'm in our store i just love how slick their jackets are they're so cool one of these days i'm gonna get one today's not that day well eh. so i have bad news trevor if you're watching Maybe pause the video. Super dry doesn't have the clothes that we saw last year, which is kind of sad. The jackets are still the same, but they don't have the vests anymore, for girls at least. And I was a little upset because their vests were the bomb. And I was like, I'm gonna get a vest just like this one, but like super dry style. Also, I wanted to say, I love when signs tell you what to do. <laughs> I think it's the smartest name for a place. So you're like, I should probably grab food. Just eat right there. So super dry, doesn't have the clothes, and for some reason right now what's in style is if you wear sweaters and a dress over top. A little weird, but I guess that's the in thing right now. As you might be able to tell, I'm in my bathing suit right now, and I have no problem vlogging because I don't think anything can embarrass me as hard as something just <laughs> embarrassed me. So I've had a wonderful night. Um, I got to hang out with Judy May. Uh, we went for dinner and we hung out till like 11 at night. It was wonderful. <sighs> I knew that this hotel that I'm staying in had a jacuzzi. So I was like, you know what? This is my last night. I'm going to appreciate everything about today. I'm going to go into the jacuzzi. I couldn't find it. Um, and I called service and they said it was upstairs. So I did go upstairs and there was people up there. So I didn't want to go up there. She said, yeah, it's upstairs. Just go upstairs. <sighs> So I go upstairs and there's this huge party. I'm in my bathing suit with this big fluffy bathrobe on. I have a towel, I'm in slippers, and I walk into the middle of this huge party. And this one guy comes up to me and he's like, I think you might be at the wrong spot. I was like, you think? And I was so embarrassed. I was like, I'm gonna leave. And he's like, no, 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 come join the party. And I was like, no. And then I was like, I was just trying to get to the jacuzzi. I was like, and he was like, oh, we can still go in the jacuzzi. And I was like, you know what? I think, I think I'm okay. And he's like, no, 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 go in the jacuzzi. And I was like, yeah, and everyone will be here partying and I'll be the show. And then he was like, like, oh, is that what's happening? Like he, he didn't realize I was joking. I was like, that was a joke. And then I'm just getting myself in this bigger upsetting mess. And you guys know how awkward I am. I'm like, okay. And all these drunk people are looking at me like, who the is this and they're all like smoking like oh we're at this posh party and he's like no come meet the owner and I was like no I think I think I'm gonna go and he starts pushing me into the bar so now I'm at the bar and I'm trying to figure out where like a host is to tell me where this darn hot tub is and he introduces me into this to this dude and he's like this is um blah 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 this is his party he just finished directing a movie and that's what we're all celebrating right now and I was like 
my face was just, I was so embarrassed that I just put the towel on my face while this guy was introducing me to this man. And this man's looking at me like, who the f is this? Like, he's looking at me like this little girl has a towel on her face. What is she doing here? And he just looked at me and was like, and he's like, can she be here at the party? And he's like, and just turned around, didn't even say anything. And I was like, well, this is one of the most degrading things ever. And then this guy was like, no, stay, stay. And I was like, no, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. He's like, double dog dare you to go get some, some, uh, some like party dress on, come up here and hang out with us. And I was like, yeah, sure, dude. I was like, you have a good night. And I went back downstairs and I died. No, I'm not going back up there. It was a wonderful invitation, but I think that my heart has had enough embarrassment for the night. And I now know that I can do anything I want in this lifetime because nothing will amount to something that awkward ever again. Hence why I can vlog <laughs> this much up. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day and good night.